Welcome back to the cabin. My uh, last update was a little wacky weather-wise, but uh, it's been pretty steady for the last uh, week, I guess. No major snow, just a little bit of snow to cover up the ice, which is perfect. It hasn't destroyed my trails, which is even better. So uh, yeah, today the plan is to go get uh, my trails packed a little bit. I need to haul a tire right there. There's a tire that I'm gonna drag behind the quad on the trail. Right now it's about, it feels pretty nice. It's been chilly, then it warmed up, then it got a little bit colder, and now it is about minus 16 Celsius. And uh, I'm actually feeling kind of warm. I have been inside, I have my jacket off because it's so warm out. <laughs> Uh, the sun, I'm going to show you guys the, um, what the sun looks like at this time of year pretty soon. Maybe closer to solstice, so December 21st. In another week and a bit, I'll uh, show you what the sun is like on the horizon. It doesn't get uh, barely over the mountains over in the distance. So shortest day of the year coming up. It's a slow slide to the uh, getting longer days. After that, every day is lighter, so... Right now it's not getting light out till like 11 o'clock in the morning. So that's different. 11 till about 5, 4.30 is when we have daylight. So it's pretty weird. Uh, we didn't change our times this year, our clocks. They didn't go back this year in the Yukon for the first time. We stopped that this year. So this is the first time we're all experiencing these dark mornings. So um, many people don't like it, but I love it. I don't mind it. I'd rather have it uh, later on in the day, the, the light. So... Um, we're adapting pretty well here. So what else is going on? I am going to take you on a little tour of the cabin soon. I have a whole bunch of stuff planned. This is my new project, my winter project. I have an idea of what I'm going to do. My cabin, the inside trim has not been done, finished ever since I built this place over 10 years ago. So, but that seems to be the common theme in cabin living people. I don't know if it's just around here or all around the world. But um, we don't, we're not really good at finishing our cabins. So I think because there's always, always stuff to do, always other stuff to do. So, but I figured, you know, I was on such a roll with all the stuff I did this summer, um, all the stuff around the yard and um, had so much positivity and encouragement from YouTube. So I really appreciate all that that came my way because now it's fired me up to do some uh, indoor work. So I am not, I've never done trim before. Um, I just bought a miter saw, so I'm going to bring that inside and it'll be probably living in my kitchen for the rest of the winter as I work on the project because I've, you know, I work full time, so I've just got evenings and weekends to do this stuff. So, um, I'm going to do as much as I can. I'll give you like weekly updates on how it's going right now. Today, it is Saturday. I hope to post this video tomorrow. I hope to post something every Sunday in case you're wondering. <laughs> um, but I want to, uh... Yeah, I want to do weekly updates and I want to really get, uh, make some good progress on it because why not? You know, it feels great to get this stuff done. So there's a few issues in the cabin. I had some leaks coming down from the roof and I'm not quite sure if it's because of my, somebody, the builder told me it's because the tuck tape that I have and I'll show you that video over top of this as I'm talking. Um, the tuck tape doesn't quite, <laughs> dogs. Dogs are here for attention. We're just about to go for a run, so they're, I don't know why I picked this time to do this. It's just, I'm winging it. Um, but anyways, uh, where was I? Yes, I was going to talk about the tuck tape. So the tuck tape is over top of the vapor barrier, you know, attached to the walls. So that's supposed to seal out any uh, air getting in there so no moisture will build up between that, the, that vapor barrier, the insulation and the vapor barrier over top. I don't know if there's vapor barrier over top, actually. I can't remember. Yeah, we must have done that, didn't we? I don't know. I don't know, I don't remember. Anyway, so I don't have plywood over top of the insulation. It is just like the roof, the metal, and then the insulation, I think. Um, so I don't know. I have had somebody else tell me who's in construction tell me that um, I should put plywood in between that. To, and that's the reason I'm getting the leaking. I don't remember the leaks happening for the first few years. I've, I only remember it like starting up maybe five or six years ago. So that would kind of coincide with possibly some of the, the tape coming loose. And it has, like a lot of it has come off and, um, you know, cause I don't have the trim up there. So it's just kind of loosening over time. Um, and I probably didn't do a great job taping to begin with. Cause I don't know what the hell, I didn't know what I was doing back then. So I'm going, I think what I'll try for this winter and it'll be a test. I'll read you all the tuck tape. Um, 
So right now I'm just cleaning up the loft. I have, I have so many clothes and crap that, you know, when you live in a small cabin, you really need to minimalize and I haven't been able to do it. I keep taking truckloads of stuff to the dump, but I must be bringing more stuff in because it never ends. But anyways, I've done a, I just spent the whole morning. It is about 2.30 in the afternoon. I spent all day today up until now. Um, organizing and cleaning my loft and dusting and uh i also want to paint up there i have trim to finish up there the painting i really don't like the color i chose years ago so i want to redo that i have drywall i need to fix up there um so i have a boatload of projects to do inside and um that's what i'm going to do this winter so i have leaks on the walls I want to sand those down and stain it. I've never stained the indoors um, at all. So I also need to chink inside. Put in the backer rods to fill up any cracks that are in the logs that I haven't done yet. I've got some spray foam insulation that you can see. So I want to cover that all up with... Um... Ah, my dogs are playing. <laughs> They've had a good time outside. We've been in indoors for a couple days now um, because it was pretty chilly the last couple days. So today's the first time we're out and free. So they're going a little kooky and chasing each other around. Yeah, so I'm going to stain it, chink it, finish insulating. I have some door issues I need to fix. My door frame is kind of cracked. I tried gluing it with wood glue um, just before winter hit. I think it might have been a little too cold to do it, so it probably didn't set that well. So it's not super solid, but my door shuts, so that's good. Um, may just break one day, who knows. So I need to do that. Oh, baseboards. I'll, I'll show you my flooring that I screwed up. I decided to put it about one inch away from the wall. I don't know why I decided that would be a good idea because now I have this big gap that I need to fix. And I don't know if you put baseboards that are that wide down. That seems a little bit excessive. So I might have to put another piece of a really narrow strip of uh, flooring in that spot, which is so stupid. Anyways, what I'm going to do now is uh, no more organizing. I'm done with that. I'm done with cleaning and chores that we're going to go for a run right now. And I'm going to go grab the tire, the tire over there. And uh, that should be fun because it is like, I've only walked down there, I've only walked down that trail twice. So um, it is a bit snowy and pushing a tire should be entertaining to watch. So I'm going to film it for you. <laughs>
It's so cute. Oh, you guys. Look at that sun. Anyways, wow, I've been yapping for 11 minutes. I'm going to really need to edit this. <laughs> Moving out of washer and dry. Hey, 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 Fussy! Don't eat poo! <laughs> Don't eat poo! That's all I yell around here. Don't eat poo. <laughs> See, I'm so warm. You look so innocent. Were you just eating poo? Fussy. Hey. <laughs> slushy <laughs> that dog with his poo he's like playing with it now Lewis! Lewis, leave the poo! <laughs>